My braid is slashing bird. No quarter. I am going to be a odd comfortable and hollow <laughs> from start to finish. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special Saturday edition of Outside of the Box. Um, I have no no guest today. Um, what I thought that I would do was kind of answer like the top five questions that I typically get from either fans or builders, um, just to give a little bit more insight, you know, on my end of things here. Now, some of these questions I have answered on a show before. Um, but I figured I'd, I'd make it all concise and and put it in one place so that everybody could hear that information, um, you know, since I do get asked these things quite a bit. So the first question is, what is my favorite weapon type? That's a really good question because, you know, most, I would say the vast majority of my favorite robots are drum spinners, Burt's, um, and control bots. So you know, given that, I can't say that I can choose a specific weapon type. However, what I will say is some of my favorite weapons themselves are ones that I think have very unique creative designs. Um, I mean, if I had to choose one weapon blade, period, it is absolutely the Pika blade that the Doomba team had created but didn't get to use. Um I love it. I have a tiny ornament version of it. Um, you know, obviously I love Pokemon, so I, I love that blade. But I mean, Blood Sports team, um, you know, Nick makes just amazing, amazing weapon blades. Um, I you know I'm I'm since as a creative person, I'm very much like heavy on design aesthetic and things like that. So um you know, when I see something, you know, a weapon that has a unique design in some way, that's very exciting to me. Um, so that would be my answer to that question. Um, what is my favorite battle bot? Well, I, I, I'm sure anybody who's watched more than a few episodes um, pretty much knows the answer to that. I mean, I would say that it's, it's very close. You know, I usually say Minotaur definitively. Um, Sawblaze is is very close. Like Minotaur and Sawblaze, um, you know, absolutely are my two favorites. And there's a big reason for that. Um, for me, you know, BattleBots is just as much about the people as it is about the robot. And so I think because Daniel Freitas and Jameson Go have such a symbiotic relationship with their robots. Um, that's just, you know, that's something that I enjoy seeing, you know, they, they are very in line with like what their robots are, their personality comes out in those robots. And so, um, you know, I think for me, that's why I like both of them so much. Um, you know, obviously as everybody knows, I am a huge fan of so many of the builders. Um, and I, I love to see, that relationship, you know, come through in the battle box. So that's my answer there. I will give a side note that speaking of Norwalk bots specifically, for those that follow Norwalk, absolutely without a doubt, positively hysterical. Hasn't been around for a long time, but Tom has created a robot that is truly magical. Um, and yeah, pause is my favorite. Pause and mouse, mouse, 100% the best. Um, it would be difficult to top that at this point. Um, the next question that I get a lot are, when are you going to interview XYZ Robot? And I would say the top five heavily requested teams that I have not had on the show yet would be Hydra, Witch Doctor, Endgame, Hypershock, and, well, Farouk. Um, so <clears throat> I can give everybody a little bit of an answer to that. Um, for all of you Hydra fans, Hydration Nation, that is coming. Um, that is already on my schedule and will be happening very soon. Um, in terms of Witch Doctor, we're working out the details, um, you know, obviously with the Destructathon, the Witch Doctor team is very busy, um, has a lot going on. So it's a little difficult to get that scheduled, but currently working on that. Um, as far as Endgame and Hypershock, I would absolutely love to have either of those teams on. So 
Jack, Nick, Will, Alex, anybody from those teams, you know, if you're watching this, please get a hold of me. I'd love to have you on the show. Um, and then Farouk, um, you know, Farouk is heavily requested. I would love to have Farouk on the show. That would be like at the top of my list. So obviously I'm hoping that I can make that happen um, is a bit of a challenge, especially this weekend um, as it is the Super Bowl and Farouk is a massive Philadelphia sports fan. Um, go Eagles. So, you know, it, it may be a little bit uh, before I'm able to, to get a hold of him, but obviously would love to do that. Um, the next question that I get very often is, are you going to build a bot? I will say that I would love to do that. And my intention is probably to help my child build a bot um, because she's probably going to be the one that's doing this long term. But as far as myself building, um, I have difficulty building a simple desk with instructions. So yeah, I think I would be able to drive one better than I would be able to build one. Um, so let's just say that I have a lot of appreciation for the talent of the builders and what they do, because that is not my wheelhouse. Um, and it is so amazing what they're able to come up with and create. Um, and then the last question, slightly off topic, but not really. What is your favorite Pokemon? Um, so that is a difficult answer as well. Um, I'm always inclined to say Eevee, but I mean, really depending on what mood I'm in when you ask me, it could be Eevee or Dratini. Um, the reason why Eevee is so heavily up there is because all of the evolutions, um, I think, you know, having a Pokemon that can change into so many different forms is very cool. Um, obviously that, that makes sense considering I love very versatile robots um, like Ribot that can have many different types of configurations. So, you know, I love Eevee. Dratini, of course, I'm going to go with a dragon type. Um, you know, I, I think that it is the coolest base Pokemon that has the worst final evolution in all of Pokemon. That could be a hot take. Not a huge fan of um, Dragonite, but that's that's my opinion. Um, so uh, this is just a little short clip. Hopefully that gives you some insight into some of these questions that I get very often. Um, and just know that we have a really exciting lineup coming within the next couple of weeks. Um, that Hydra interview that I mentioned will be within the next couple of weeks, as well as a, an interview with uh, both David Jin of Ribot and Lucy Dew of Valkyrie. Um, as well as an interview with Horizon and just lot, lots more stuff to come. So keep following the page to get those updates on who I'm interviewing and when. Um, and we will see you all next time on the show.